All right, it's day 52 of the at-home workouts. Coach Daniel here. Quick question, have you booked your body comp test yet? If not, you need to. This is the week they're free, so go, go book your body comp test, schedule your appointment, we can see what you're made of. All right, today's warm-up is two rounds. You're gonna do 10 clamshells on the left side, 10 clamshells on the right side. You're gonna do five Arnold presses with your right arm, and five Arnold presses with your left arm, and you'll do 10 Cossack squats. Okay, so let me go through this. Clamshells, you're laying on your side. You're gonna bring your knees together and then spread them apart. Okay, you're gonna do 10 on one side, then 10 on the other. All right, the Arnold press, just like Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is how he presses. He brings his dumbbells, palms facing towards him. As he presses overhead, he twists his shoulders so his palms now face parallel to his body. All right, so then you'll do a Cossack squat or a side lunge. 10 of those. Once you've done two rounds of those, you'll go into the skill. It's a six minute EMOM, two Turkish get ups, two left, two right. On the even minute, you'll do a 45 second moderate row. Not a, not a high intensity row, but just a moderate row. Okay? So the Turkish get up is meant to work your mobility. So you're going to lay down and you're going to come up to a lunge and then stand up. Okay? Then you'll go back down the same way you came up. So bring that leg back, bring that knee that's down to a straight leg, down to your hip, down to your elbow, and lay down to your back. Okay, then uh, for the row, you're gonna use your dumbbell, or if you've got a rowing machine, you can always row, but you're gonna row on one side, either for 30 seconds or for the full minute, and then you'll row on the other side. Today's workout is a ladder that descends from 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. We'll do tuck jumps, backpack or weighted ground overheads and then burpees okay so start with 14 reps of each of these things then 12 and 10 and so forth so start with those tuck jumps it's a squat and you bring your knees up and you slap your knees if you can't do that just do a squat jump uh, and then the ground overhead with your weight touch the ground bring it straight overhead and then with the burpees just like normal burpees all the way down chest and thighs to the ground then pop up Jump up and clap your hands over your head. Okay, 14, 12, 10, 9, descending down to two reps. The core work today is six minutes. You'll do a 100 meter run, then you'll do 20 leg races and two Turkish get ups. Again, Turkish get ups today, which is great. We need Turkish get ups that helps us with our shoulder mobility. So start with that 100 meter run. Once you've done your 100 meter run, you'll lay down and do 20 leg raises. And once you've done your 20 leg raises, you'll use your weight, or if you don't even have a weight, you'll, you can still do these Turkish get-ups. Again, laying down, sit up to your elbow, then to your hand, bring the hip off the ground, that straight leg through to a knee, then step up from a lunge. And then going back down, you're going to go back down the same way you came up, okay? So just in reverse order. That's the Turkish get-up. Now, for the mobility today, you're going to start with a wall squat opener for two minutes. Then you'll do an arm to wall for one minute. You'll do an overhead squat laying on the wall, so it's laying down the wall. And then a manual tricep stretch for a minute each side. Here's the uh, squat opener. So you're gonna squat down with your bottom to the wall and you're gonna hold that position for two minutes. Then you're gonna do an arm to wall stretch. So you put your palm to the wall, then peel your body back from the wall. Here's the laying down overhead squat up to the wall. Then here's the manual tricep stretch, so put that hand behind your back and then reach with the other hand to grab that elbow and pull to stretch that tricep muscle. Here's the rhomboid stretch, you're going to put your elbows together and grab your thumb of one hand and then you'll hold that and then you'll switch hands and do the other side. The wrist stretch will be down on all fours and you're going to work your hands around and then you're going to lean back and pull that those tendons in those wrists, help stretch those wrists and get some wrist mobility. Alright, then the last thing you're going to do is just rest. And then once you're all done, make sure you get an extra glass of water, drink it nice and slow, and just take some time to uh, think positively and, and, and build up your mental health. All right, everybody, make sure to schedule that body comp test. Have a great workout. We hope to see you next week.